Welcome back to Buckeye Country Creations. In today's video, we're going to make a homemade chocolate pie using a store-bought graham cracker crust. Yes, a store-bought graham cracker crust. I don't have time to make a graham cracker crust. You could use a regular pie crust, but I'm going to be using the graham cracker crust because that's what my husband prefers. The recipe that we're going to be using today is off of Pioneer Woman. It's Lad's favorite chocolate pie. And I actually have the recipe card that I bought when I went to Pahuska, Oklahoma. I will list the ingredients below in the description box, but it's one and a half cups of sugar, but I did one and two thirds cup of sugar because I couldn't find the bittersweet chocolate. All I could find was unsweet Ghirardelli chocolate, which is this is the chocolate. So I increased the sugar to one and two thirds cup of sugar. A fourth a cup of cornstarch, which I have right here. You can use any brand of cornstarch. A quarter teaspoon of salt, which I haven't measured out yet. Um, three cups of whole milk, which I have here. And when you're measuring your liquid, don't hold your cup up like this. Make sure your cup is down so that you make sure it's your measurements are exact. Pour it while your cup is sitting, your measuring cup is sitting on the countertop. Okay, four large egg yolks, which I already have separated my eggs. Six and a half ounces of bittersweet chopped chocolate, which mine is unsweet. I've got to finish chopping that up. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and I'm using my homemade vanilla extract. And two tablespoons of salted butter. So the first thing we gotta do is get our sugar, our cornstarch, and our salt in a saucepan and get it whisk together. Then we're gonna add the milk and the egg yolks. Okay, so let's move over to the stove. Okay, so we're gonna pour in our sugar, which is one and two thirds cup of sugar. The cornstarch. Get all that cornstarch out of there. I'm gonna whisk that together. And then I'm gonna add my salt to that, which is a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then I have a half a teaspoon, so I'm gonna use half of that. You might ask why you put salt in a pie, because salt brings out the flavor of chocolate and stuff like that. So we're gonna whisk it together. Get all of that whisk together. And be careful when you're whisking, because you see you're gonna stir up a dust with that corn cornstarch. Okay, now I'm gonna add the milk, the three cups of milk. Whisk that together. And my egg yolks, my four egg yolks. Get me a thing out here to help get my egg yolks out. A little scraper. Turn this on medium heat. So I'm gonna turn mine on about between about a three because I have an electric stove. Use a gas stove, just make sure your heat's on medium. And we're gonna let that barely come to a boil. Making sure I got all of my stuff stirred up and whisked and combined. Make sure there's not any piles in my mixture. Okay, 
It'll take about six to eight minutes for this to come to a boil. doing that, doing its thing, while I finish chopping up my chocolate. So this is about one and a half bars of the Ghirardelli chocolate, is what I bought. I bought my stuff at Kroger this morning. So I'm gonna chop, get this chopped up. Oop, that one's trying to get away. And it smells so good. chop that up. I hope you are all enjoying your Thanksgiving weekend or holiday. It's not even not at the weekend yet, but I know there was a lot of people shopping this morning when I was in town shopping. So we're going to get this all chopped up because this is what's going to make all that chocolatey goodness in that pie. All chopped up there. Okay. okay, I've got my two tablespoons of salted butter. Make sure that's butter. That's what I gotta have ready. And then the chocolate and the vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my vanilla. And I've gotta have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna use a teaspoon. Okay, we're gonna measure that out. And yes, I know that my vanilla is not dark, but this is clear vanilla from Mexico. And I added some Madagascar vanilla beans. So this is what they'll call my mother jar. So don't come at me and tell me that my vanilla is not brown. I know it's not brown, but you can make clear vanilla. So, we're gonna measure that out. Get it measured out. One, and it smells so good, two. That way I'm ready when we're sitting on go. And see, it's even got the little chunks of vanilla bean in there, if you can see that or not. But it smells really good. So we're gonna continue to stir this and watch it. I tell you, I grew up cooking on a gas stove And I miss my gas stove. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to cook this because I don't want it to stick or anything to the bottom of my pan. But look how pretty that looks. Isn't that pretty? That's actually a bottle I got at a flea market. There's a video on my channel that I'll link down below on how to make your own vanilla extract. watching it because like I said I want to make sure that and this is for our Thanksgiving dinner which is actually tomorrow my first Thanksgiving dinner is tomorrow then we have dinner with our younger kids on Thursday which we will be doing the traditional dinner tomorrow at our oldest daughter's turkey ham dressing and all that so I can make my dressing later I'll also there'll be a link to that video be making cornbread dressing which is a southern thing it'll be on my channel later today too um then on friday we're doing a, a non-traditional thanksgiving which i'll be making pot roast and vegetables i just have to wait now for this to come to an almost boil and we're not quite there yet this is the ghirardelli chocolate that i bought 
unsweetened. And it smells so good, you guys. It smells so, so good. That's the thing about, about an electric stove. It's different than... And I think I'm going to switch from a whisk to like a spatula. Or something that I can stir better with once I stir my chocolate in. Switch to my wooden spoon. So that way I don't have... Because I'm whisking up bubbles, so... husband's snoozing over there in the rocking chair in his chair relaxing he's been busy all morning working on his antique cars for his channel I've been out shopping and now I'm cooking it's starting to get a little thick So I'm gonna turn the turn that off. Cause see now it's it's getting thicker. So we're gonna remove it from the heat, and we're gonna add our vanilla, our two tablespoons of salted butter. And then we're gonna stir it up. Melt all of that chocolate into that custard. And that butter. Butter gives it the shininess. now so that I can make sure I get it all off the sides and everything because it's kind of getting into my spoon there oh yeah that's much better look at that oh that looks so good now this is going to go into our pie shell and then you have to chill it in the refrigerator for four, at minimum of four hours. Okay, so here's our graham cracker crust. Here's that lovely chocolate pudding pie filling. I'm gonna let it cool just a tad before I put it in that pie pan. Make sure I got it stirred up really, really well. But look at that deep, dark chocolate. Make sure all of that chocolate's melted. Okay, so now we're ready to transfer this to our pie shell. It's definitely going to fill up this pie shell. But I think a little extra to spare. Look at that. Oh, it looks so pretty already. And it smells heavenly.
absolutely heavenly. Okay. So there it is. And then I'm just gonna make it look pretty. There it is. So now this will go into the oven to chill, uh, not the oven, <laughs> the refrigerator to chill for four hours. If you're worried about carrying this to the fridge because it's a little junky, put you a plate underneath it and then carry it like this to the refrigerator to chill for four hours. Okay, well I had a happy little accident with my pie. I, as you saw, I put it all in the pie shell. I put my pan in the sink and was going to run water in it. And I thought, hmm, let me test, taste, taste test this pie filling. And I'm so glad I did because it was bitter. And I thought, oh my gosh, how am I going to fix this? I thought, sweetened condensed milk. I have sweetened condensed milk. So I go back to the refrigerator. I pull out the pie. And I thought, how am I going to get this out of this pie crust? This graham cracker pie crust. So I start trying to pour it out, and of course, that didn't work. So then I started spooning it out. Well, that didn't work either. So I was like, what the heck? I dumped graham cracker crust, pie filling and all back in my bowl, added my sweetened condensed milk, and oh my gosh, you guys, it is delicious. I don't eat chocolate pie, but I'm eating this chocolate pie tomorrow. So, the edit is, if you use unsweetened chocolate, you need to add sweet, a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, you don't have to do the graham cracker crust thing if you don't want to, but it's so good. And my husband's excited to eat this pie. So, go enjoy your pie. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Enjoy your family. Put your phones down enjoy each other, talk to each other, and remember what I always say. Always make sure you take time to go out and make those memories with the ones you love. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.